Hi, I'm Glenn Campbell from Ecologics. I'm a land manager here in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, and I'm with Mike Hurst. And I am from Highland Hill Farm, and I grow plant deliver trees anywhere in the East Coast. One of the most important things that you can do, especially in suburban areas like Bucks County here in Southeast Pennsylvania, but pretty much anywhere where you have a lot of people uh, and you have white-tailed deer, you're going to run into a situation where you have overpopulations of deer. Uh, a lot of people in a few of the videos you've seen here have been about uh, how to uh, put plants out that are non-nutritious or non-suitable for, for deer food, uh, but what we're going to talk about is something a little bit different today. For folks that want to have deer attracted into a, a parcel of land or a backyard for hunting purposes, uh, you can actually take plants and, and different types of food materials um, uh, that you can plant that will actually uh, help attract deer into an area. Uh, Mike is a, a nursery stock provider and uh, he'll talk about a few different types of trees and uh, the most important thing that you want to do is provide cover. Are there any good cover species that you can Oh, there's recommend? plenty of good cover species. One would be right off the top of my head is a viburnum. And viburnums are a great cover species for many reasons. First off is that, that you pan over here, you can see those viburnums in the background. Though they provide cover for wind, provide area for them to lay down in, and provide berries for them to eat. In the springtime, they also have flowers and leaves, which are very nutritious for the trees, the animals eat as well. Now we're standing in front of a huge green bush right now, which is uh, pretty important because if you take a look around at some of the, the plants that you see growing during the winter time, you'll notice that a lot of them that retain the green, we call them evergreens uh, or coniferous type trees, and they're excellent because they provide uh, what we call thermal cover. Thermal cover is basically a place where an animal can hide and also provide some amount of food. This time of the year when we have snow on the ground, the animals can't really access what's underneath the snow, so they rely heavily upon uh, different types of trees. A lot of animals will transition from eating things like carnivorous plants to eating deciduous or leaf shedding trees. Uh, they'll start to eat what's known as browse, which is the buds that are on the end of the uh, trees this time of the year. The buds are packed with nutrition. And there are some plants out there, and, and Mike, you could probably recommend some that really produce abundant buds during the wintertime. Yeah, one of them that's really noticeable that people can see from the distance is like a magnolia bud, where it has really big buds that are very visible, and they can eat those easily. Other ones you can probably go after are like a cedars of some sort, not so much like the eastern red cedar, but there are other cedars you can get that the deer can eat pretty, pretty, pretty much easily, and they grow natives into the areas. Um, I guess we can also go after some of the more evergreen ones like this. This is actually a nice, really nice example of an American holly in our backyard. We can go after some of the evergreens like this, but that's more of like last resort for them. If you really wanted to go something for them to eat, it would be all year round good eating. It would be like an arbor of sorts. Now all this stuff might seem a little bit overwhelming, but there are different types of, of actual food plot materials you can place down as well. Something along the lines of a, a turnip, for instance. A turnip is an excellent wintertime uh, food plot mix. Uh, a lot of them call the brassicas. The brassicas are something that generally die off just like a normal plant would when the first frost comes around. But they produce a fruit that's pretty hardy and it lasts well into the wintertime. And the deer will root through uh, the ground to try to get at those turnips. So there's a lot of good options there. But you're going to need professional help getting some of these things installed and maintaining them and having somebody come out to a site and just tell you what you're looking at. Some types of uh, ground are not necessarily good for other types of trees. Why don't you tell us a little bit about, uh, just give us an idea of how you select trees for a particular area. All right, the management method that I use when I go out and give advice on how or what plants to be planted in usually has to go with what your area looks like, how much light it has, whether it's in a wetter area, what kind of exposure it has, whether it be northern facing or southern exposure, types of plots of land. And what I do is I pick out plants that would grow naturally in that area. And I would, if it was, for most people, I would pick out plants that you wouldn't want deer, but I can tailor what you need by what types of plants I can put in. For instance, if you didn't want to see your neighbor, I can put in evergreen plants that are nice and thick and you won't have to see your neighbor. If you want to attract wild birds, I can put in plants that have a small enough berry that the birds can eat. That way during the winter, they can still eat the berries and you don't, you don't have to go for bird feed. So there's many different ways that I do deal with many different customers who have different needs. I just need to know what your needs are and I need to know what the site locations needs are. 
Now, in the wintertime, it's also important to provide high protein, especially for white-tailed deer, but turkey will also benefit from that. Uh, pelletized protein is something that we provide as a service as well. You can uh, utilize a combination of pelletized protein, which is similar to a horse feed, if you will, uh, in combination with different types of food plots like the brassicas or turnips that we talked about, providing a dense, dense, dense cover uh, for, uh, for protection against winter elements uh, and also protection against what is perceived to be predators. So you can contact us at Highland Hill Farm. Our number is 215-651-8329. Thank you for your... We're at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. These are real fast-growing arborvitas. What we have out in this field is the Green Giant, a very fast-growing arborvita that can grow upwards to three feet in a year. So it won't be about two or three years and we'll be starting to, to harvest these trees. These trees grow like little rape dapes. My wife wants to know how I know what a rape dape is, but we'll get into that one later. At any rate, they'll grow very, very fast. They're deer resistant and they're easy to grow because they grow predominantly with one single leader so that they don't break apart with snow and wind and, and, and ice loads. These deer, the, these plants are grown right up here next to a park called Peace Valley Park. Thousands of acres of deer country here in Bucks County. They call it Bucks County because there's a lot of bucks. And boy, we have bucks around here, but they do not like this western red cedar type arborvita. And therefore, we plant these right out in this field at risk of deer. The deer will be in this field tonight, but we're confident that they won't destroy these trees because they have a very bitter taste. One or two deer browsing, who they'll, they'll taste it and just find out they don't like it. We've actually seen the deer break a piece off, try and eat it, and drop it out of their mouth. This is not their favorite food. So we sell these trees up to 14 to 15 foot high. So if you need a deer resistant plant, give us a call at 215-651-8329. We're in the heart of nursery country of Bucks County. This is our stone barn nursery right here. And this property up here is another nursery called Lewis Wholesale Nursery. So you can see we have a lot of nurseries in this area and the reason is because of our fine clay soils. And you can see the soil here is, is a real nice clay makes for a real good ball. The material will stay together without you know, clumping and breaking apart. The balls will hold moisture and be easy to dig and transplant. So if you need quality nursery spa stock, give us a call at seedlingsrus.com or visit us on our telephone number at 215-651-8329. This is the berry cluster of the Blue Muffin Viburnum. It's a arrowwood viburnum that we sell here at Highland Hill Farm. It has a very glossy leaf. The old growth is glossy, but the new growth is exceptionally light colored and glossy. It's very easy to grow. It's called arrowwood viburnum by many people in the trade. It has a white cluster of flowers in the springtime and these blue berries in the fall. This set of plants here are about three to four foot high and will grow to be about ten foot tall and maybe ten foot wide. We're along a real busy road here. This is Route 313. We're in Fountainville, PA. And as you can see, we have a lot of plants, trees, and shrubs here at the nursery, besides the blue muffin. And over here, I'll take you over and I'll show you our double file viburnums. And these are double file viburnums. And again, these viburnums are generally considered to be deer resistant. So if you need a, a nice shrub for the background of your property, they make nice naturalized borders and hedges. This, is, this would also be a great choice. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. We do deliver and plant these up and down the East Coast. We have, we have viburnums both potted and bald and bald and burlap from in the field. So 
So give us a call, 215-651-8329.